I'm Chris Duke, and unfortunately, no, this is not my Roush Mustang. It belongs to a good friend of mine, Tim. You may have seen him in past videos. Yes, the same Tim who has the 2016 Hellcat, so yes, he has a Roush Mustang and a Hellcat. But anyway, uh, getting back to that, we're going to check out Tim later on. He's going to go over some specs of the vehicle, talk about the vehicle a little bit. In the meantime, we'll take a closer look at the vehicle. We'll check out how nicely it looks next to my Maxima. How it makes my Maxima look like a total hoopty. And we'll take a short drive in the car. guys so with uh tim i'm sure you remember him from previous videos including the hellcat video so let me just hold on for the time being <laughs> this thing moves <laughs> it always feels different when you're the passenger versus driving as well shit yeah you get a buck shit Oh, you were over a buck. We were coasting down to a buck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
So tell us what we got here. It's a 2010 Roush Mustang. It's got the uh, 463 valve supercharged from Roush. It's a 427R model in Kona Blue. All right. When did you get this car? How long have you had it? I had this car a little bit over a year. Okay. It's a good fun car. Handles real nice. It's got good power. Yeah, I've noticed that when you let me drive it, I can feel it. It handles really well for for a muscle car. Yeah, it's a real fun car. I enjoy driving it. I was also telling you too when I drove it. This is a car that when I first looked at it, didn't really see it as daily drive material, but I think I could daily drive this car. Yeah, it's, it's really easy to daily drive. It's got the five-speed manual in it, right. so that makes it uh, makes it fun. It's completely stock. I've done nothing to it. <coughs> Except it's got a set of um, Nitto tires on it. Okay. In the back, in the front. What kind of brakes does this car come with, factory? It comes with a uh, Roush, almost look like a Brembo. 450 caliper in the front, regular setup in the back. Um, it's got slotted rotors. You gotta kind of make it spin tires, especially with the Nettos on it. Yeah, I, I've it noticed that. It looks nice. I've noticed that when you let me drive it. I didn't go too hard on it, but I did notice it definitely had no problem hooking and didn't want to let go. Yeah. So, some folks probably remember you from the Hellcat video. So, I guess my question is Hellcat wasn't enough. You had to have a Roush Mustang, too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like my fast cars. I always like my Mustang. You know my Fords and my Dodges. Right. So, but this one's a little bit more fun to drive because it's a little bit smaller car, a little bit lighter, and uh, it's just real easy to drive. Where the Hellcat's got a lot more power, so it likes to drift sideways a lot easier. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on this road, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I read that these cars came. Uh, brand new somewhere in the 50s, but you said this one has a little bit of a different package in it. Yeah, I think this one if I'm not mistaken was around 60 brand new Okay Around 60, 61, 62, something like that but Either way, they don't they don't do these Roush uh, editions every year, do they? Uh, I think they do every year, but they don't make a ton of them. Okay that I know of. You know, it's just like Celine and all that. Right. You know, they are numbered cars Are you the second owner? No, I'm actually a fourth owner of this car. Wow, okay. The car only, doesn't even have 25,000 miles on it yet for 2010. Yeah, it's, it's practically brand new. It has barely, not even two years of driving on it. Yeah, I bought it with uh, almost 20,000 miles on it, so I've just about put 5,000. No, yeah, almost 5,000 miles on it since I've owned it. Okay. Did you buy it off a dealer or a collector? Or? Bought it at a dealer. At a dealer, okay. Florida car? Yes, always in Florida. That's a good thing. Yeah, don't yeah. like rust. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like you have all the creature comforts of a modern car in here as well. Oh yeah, yeah, it's got all the steering wheel controls, all that stuff, it makes it nice. Yeah. 
satellite radios have nav as well? Yep, it's got nav, satellite, um, Bluetooth to your phone, all that stuff. Okay. handles it does. for a muscle it car gets. it sticks on the ground man and now you wonder how fucking people get mustang loose because that one's not your typical typical mustang that's why Man. <laughs> yeah. 